Today, we're diving headfirst into Apex Legends Season 21 Solos Mode. But this isn't just any ordinary gameplay session. No, today we're on a mission. A mission to secure the elusive and exclusive Solo 20 Bomb Badge. Now, let me tell you, this journey isn't going to be a walk in the park. We're going to face the lows, the frustrations, the heartbreaks, but also the exhilarating highs of chasing that sweet, sweet victory. It's going to be a rollercoaster of emotions. We'll be battling it out solo against some of the toughest competition out there, all in pursuit of that coveted badge. But hey, Every defeat only makes the eventual victory that much sweeter, right? So buckle up, strap in, and join me as we push ourselves to the limit in Apex Legends Season 21 Solos mode. Will we come out victorious? Well, you just have to stick around and find out, won't you? Let's dive in. Today, we are going to be trying to get the Solo 20 Bomb Badge here. This one. We're going for this badge right here. Army of One. Right, I actually don't know the map, so this should be fun. The 20 bomb badge in Apex Legends has always been a symbol of skill since the dawn of the game, and I was motivated to acquire this exclusive solos only version of the badge for this six weeks long LTM. For me, obtaining this badge isn't just about bragging rights, it's a personal challenge, a test of my abilities as a gamer, and I'm determined to prove that I have what it takes to join the ranks of the best of the best. Now, as you can see, I would be attempting this challenge with the new legend, Alter. I really wanted to try out Alter's abilities as I believe she has a high skill ceiling and plenty of room for outplayability. However, if you're chasing a solos win or even the 20 bomb badge yourself, I would highly recommend using legends that have an escape. Your wraiths, your octanes, pathfinders, horizons, or even alter. Or alternatively, you see what I did there? <laughs> Alternative, you get it? Use a legend that has an ability that can deter people from pushing you. Caustic, Catalyst, Conduit, Fuse, and there are plenty more. The current state of the game and the new Legend upgrade system introduced in Season 20, most Legends are viable. At the end of the day, it all depends on your playstyle and what you are most comfortable using as you can make any Legend work as long as you're having fun. Our journey begins here, in the intense world of Solos mode. The first few games, I faced the challenges of getting used to the new and reworked Broken Moon, which had a lot of new POIs and buildings that I was completely unfamiliar with. It felt so refreshing to be on a map that had undergone huge changes, but I was honestly more lost than a polar bear in Texas. I do have to say, however, that Respawn absolutely killed it with this new version of Broken Moon, and it is no longer the worst map in Apex Legends. Now, not only did I have to combat against all the sweats, the fact that I didn't know the map, but I also had to combat against the fact that the game was out to get me. I mean, what even is this? Now diving into these first few games of solos, I was really excited to find out what this game mode had in store and how people would play it. Yeah, pissed on differently. Energy sweet dreams, more like energy sweet dead, you know what I'm saying? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! From the get-go, I could see that this challenge was not going to be as easy as I had naively thought it would be. It was going to be a tough ride. I faced countless setbacks and defeats, but with each failure, I learned and grew stronger. And slowly but surely, I started to see progress. Not before I died to this triple bread. Come on, got the queue again. Not the horizon of this annoying guy with the repeater. Of course you're right there, you're very annoying Dr. Baz with your fucking repeater mate. Oh, and if I hadn't learnt my lesson, I landed back on him and uh, well, let's just say it didn't go quite as well as I thought it was going to. No, come. There's no way I'm so bad. Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> Now that was disappointing, but over the next few hours, we played more and more games of solos and got more aggressive to try and chase those kills I would need to help me achieve this goal of getting the 20 badge. Thank you. 
In hindsight, I probably should have grabbed that. No! Behind you. Clearly at this point, I was still learning the map because I had games like this where I got off to an absolutely flying start only to be brought down by my inability to plan rotates with the new chokes and layout around the new POIs. I don't have many meds, so I should probably get the fuck out of it. <laughs> I don't know the buildings. How do I get out? Oh no, I have one syringe. Is this on slow? Maybe. Where am I going? Oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, not like this. Not like this, bro. Not like this, not like this. I'm dead. <laughs> Entering solos mode was like stepping into a whole new world. A world where every decision, every move could mean the difference between victory and defeat. Like here, for example, where I died to a demon and decided to land on him again, only to die if he sent straight back to the lobby. But adapting to the frantic pace of solos mode was easier said than done. In the chaos of battle, every second felt like an eternity, and the pressure to perform was overwhelming. The pace of playing solos mode was unforgiving, and I quickly learned that hesitation was my greatest enemy. That's the one thing I gotta remember is that you need to finish fights off quick. I wasn't about to let my struggles hold me back. I knew if I wanted to succeed, I'd have to adapt, think on my feet, and stay sharp. So I dove back into the action, determined to match the pace of my opponents and seize every opportunity that came my way. Jesus Christ, Lucas, stop sucking. What did he say? Oh, fuck off. That's it. Nice. Only another eight kills to go. We just need we just need that plus plus eight. <laughs> oh. Filled with confidence after that game, I headed straight back into. Uh, oh, well, he must no, just be super good then, mustn't he? Well, actually, no. I left this in. You let me know. What do you think? Because you can tell what no. I thought all the time. This guy's different with it. Hold up a second. Like, when he killed me, I was like, whoa. Like, look, look at the amount of headshots, by the way, in that first spray. Four, four bullets, all headshots. He's hitting like an abnormal amount of headshots, I feel. The aim is, is insane. Now, that last game wasn't quite the 20 bomb, but with each game, I grew more comfortable with the speed of solos mode. I embraced the challenge, pushed myself to new heights. What a nade. What a nade. GG's to him. And as I stared at the match summary, I realized and laughed in pain. We still weren't GGs. there. So it was time to knuckle down and grind out this 20 bomb badge like my heart desired it. Why 
Are you running? No way you reach out of that. He says as he reach out a rampart behind a rampart wall using his shield. Maybe try facing the right way. Right there, what the fuck? Oh, I just whiffed so hard. No, I deserve to die, I deserve to die, no! And little by little, I started to see results. My gameplay improved, my reactions got quicker, and my confidence soared. I whip. Oh my god, if I'd have died, that would have been so pissed. Did someone say fade? Man, I know this Watson was pissed. That was the game, I was on like, what, 11? Tough, 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 tough. In that one game, it was like everything just clicked into place. Like I'd finally figured out solos mode. And let me tell you, it felt great. It really showed me I was starting to adapt to the pace of solos mode, moving faster, thinking quicker, and taking on whatever came my way. And I couldn't wait to see what else was in store for me. No. Ah, hey. That's a demon. That's a fucking demon. Look, he's a rat. You see, you, you guys watch him. He's hiding behind everything. Actual rat, he's, he's terrible. I 100% uh, have better aim than him. He's just hiding behind covers. This is what a red looks like. Oh, I whip so hard. I just whipped. No. All right, listen up. We were nearly five hours into our quest for that elusive badge in solos mode. It had been a proper grind, but I kept my spirits up. Every game, every loss was just bringing us closer to our goal. What? Fuck off, you're there. Of course you are. Of course you are. Yeah, no, of course. Ugh. I'm losing it. I'm losing it.
Of course, I go through the wall because I'm getting chased by a new cast when I just run it. Like another guy was there with hammer points, Mozams, just fucking chilling. Just absolutely chilling. That is what they call unfortunate. So, right, we go again. We go again, go again. Gotta keep a positive mental attitude. I'm playing well. I just, I need just to get a little bit of luck on my side. I'm hitting my shots. I just need that little bit of luck. Little bit of luck. I just got some bad luck just then. So, hopefully, that's that out of the way. Hopefully, now we can get some good luck. Even though I hadn't progressed past 12 kills and frustration was evident, I managed to maintain a positive mental outlook which would be a crucial factor in securing this 20 bomb badge victory. We dropped in at Atmo station where I snagged a hemlock and a wingman and notched up two quick kills. I love the no audio man. Until you get to the top of the zip. That's so cool. Disaster had struck. I found myself overwhelmed and got taken out. But I wasn't about to let that be the end of it. I respawned, dusted myself off, and decided on a change of tactics. It was time for Terraformer. I'm losing the will to live. Do you see that? I know you're probably just thinking, mate, it's just a prowler. Trust me, that prowler has magic powers. One by one, they fell before me, dropping like flies. The kills were piling up, and I could feel the wind in my sails. The momentum was building. Now that got a little bit dicey. My life flashed before my eyes. You heal up. How's the game going? I'm stressing out. Trying to get this 20 bomb, and it's. I'm actually. I think if I wasn't bald, I'd be bald after this session. Do I just chow this? Fuck it. And with that, we reached 15 kills. We only needed five more. I knew what I had to do. It was time to hunt down the last five. This was it, the final stretch. 18 kills. 19 kills and then finally it happened all of that grinding came down to this Woo! let's go baby finally Woo! come on as you can tell, I was absolutely delighted to have hit the 20. But there was still another squad left alive, and I couldn't finish this off without getting the win. Come on, baby, let's go. Woo! Finally. Woo! Come on. Finally, bro. I 
Upon reflection, that challenge was really difficult, but I wouldn't change anything about it. The struggles have made that badge that much more valuable to me, and I hope we see more events like this in the future. Alter was a really solid pick for solos mode too, and I had so much fun using her and outplaying my opponents. If you've watched until this point, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment, but not just any comment. I want you to drop a rat emoji in the comments if you've made it to this point. I'll see you later. Keep them coming. Keep all the badges coming.